Now the third type of computer is MISD computer, multiple instruction stream and a single data stream. So this is the MISD organization or a MISD architecture. This MISD architecture mainly consists of n number of control units and n number of processing units and one only one shared memory unit. So this shared memory unit can be divided into several number of memory modules that are memory module 1 to memory module n. Okay. Now, so each and every control unit can read the instructions from the corresponding memory module as a instruction stream. So that are sent to the corresponding processing unit. So this processing unit can execute the instructions that are sent from the control unit 1 with the data taken from the shared memory unit. Now processing unit 1 execute that instruction whatever the output that we are getting that output can be take send it to the processing unit 2. This processing unit can read the instructions from send it from the control unit 2 and execute that instructions with the data taken from the processing unit 1. Okay. Whatever the output that can be obtained from processing unit 2 that are sent to the next processing unit. Suppose this is the next processing unit PUN. So PUN can execute the instruction that are sent through the control unit N with the data that is obtained from processing unit previous processing unit. Okay. So then execute that instructions that whatever the output we are getting that output can be sent to the processing uh, memory module as a data stream. Okay. So this is the process can be done in MISD computer. Okay. This MIMD computer has only the MISD computer has only the theoretical concept, but there is no practical implementation. Okay. Up to now, there is no computer has the MISD architecture. Okay. So once again, I am telling how the execution can be done in MISD computer. In MISD computer, it consists of n number of control units that are control unit 1 to control unit n. And n number of processing units are there that are processing unit 1 to processing unit n. And, and one shared memory unit. This shared memory unit is divided into n number of memory modules mm1, mm2, mm n. Okay. Now there are n number of control units are there. Each and every control unit can read the instructions from the corresponding memory module as a instruction stream. Okay. Now, control unit 1 send the corresponding instruction stream to the processing unit 1. The control unit 2 can send the corresponding instruction stream to the processing unit 2. Control unit N can send the corresponding uh, instruction stream to the processing unit N. Okay. Now, this process unit can take the instructions from the corresponding control unit with the data and execute 
that instructions with the data taken from the shared memory as a data stream okay now what are the inputs for processing unit 1 the data taken from the shared memory unit as a data stream is the one input and the uh, one uh, the control unit can send the instruction stream one that are read from the memory module one as a instruction stream one this is the second input so now the processing unit can take these two inputs and execute that instructions with the data taken from the uh, shared memory unit now whatever the output we are getting from processing unit one that output can send it to the processing unit two as a input now the processing unit two can take the instructions from the uh, control unit two that are taken from the corresponding memory module now the processing unit 2 can execute the instructions is2 with the data taken from the processing unit 1 now whatever the output we are getting from the processing unit 2 that are send it to the next processing unit suppose next processing unit is pun pun can take the data from the processing unit 2 as one input and another input is the instruction stream n read from read by the control unit n from the corresponding memory module now whatever the output we are getting from the processing unit n so that output can be sent to the shared memory unit as a data stream okay so now the in this way the execution can be done in MISD computer this computer has only a theoretical concept computer but there is no practical implementation is there up to now so there is no computer has the MISD computer architecture okay so this example for MISD computer or Carnegie ML Milan C dot MPP computer this computer has only MISD theoretical concept but there is no implementation of MISD architecture okay so the abbreviations are CU control unit PU processing unit MM memory module IS instruction stream DS data stream now we go for MIMD computer